Hi, I would like to talk about UX. My target audience is aimed at young people aged between 13 and 25 to give them a basic understanding of what UX is. So what is UX? UX means user experience. User experience refers to a person's emotions and attitudes when interacting with a computer, smartphone, product or service. A UX designer's job is to make this experience as pleasant, interactive, smooth or seamless as possible while addressing the needs of the user in the first place. UX design dates back to the time of the Romans when Vitruvius wrote the first book on architecture. He wrote that good design must have the qualities of durability, usefulness and aesthetic. These key elements are still used in UX design today, thousands of years later. In the 1970s, IBM introduced the first personal computer with the first graphical interface using icons and a mouse rather than previously lines of code. Psychologists started to study the user. Back then, UX was known as HCA, Human Computer Interaction. In the 1980s and 90s, computer scientists and cognitive psychologists started asking questions about usability and how to make using a computer as natural as possible. These experts were known as interaction designers and realized they needed a better understanding of storytelling, motion graphics, and linguistics. Today we have UX designers who have to deal with a wider range of products and services as a result of the internet, smartphones, virtual reality, and augmented reality, and even artificial intelligence. But the concept still remains the same, making the experience as smooth and informative as possible while giving the user what they want in the first place. Don Norman, the author of the book The Design of Everyday Things, says A good user experience is one that meets the particular user's needs in a specific context where he or she used the product. A UX designer considers the why, what and how of a product's use. Why being the user's motivation, what the functionality of a product, how the functionality, accessibility and its aesthetics. UX design starts with the why, then the what and how. UX design teams are multidisciplinary, involved in visual design, usability, psychology and sociology. Their tasks involve creating personas, user research, designing wireframes for responsive websites and interactive prototypes, and then testing the design. It's all a user-centered work process. But the UX designer's job doesn't stop there. After the creative process of researching, product design, prototype and testing, comes the selling and they're involved in the marketing campaigns, even the unboxing process and experience of the user. After the purchase and use of a product or service, the UX designer analyzes feedback of the product from the user, studying data using tools such as Google Analytics, making continuous changes and updates and improvements to suit the user. Again, looking at the what, where, when, why and how and who uses the product. When we understand the needs and wants of a user, then we can design the best solution for them. Apple are on top of their game with UX design. We all know about the success of the iPhone and iTunes, but their UX success all came down to when Steve Jobs joined the team in 1997. Then in 1998, he designed the original iMac, which combined the processor and screen all as one unit. Before, the user would have to assemble the processor to the screen after the unboxing before it could be used. The innovative design of the original IMAX created a pleasant experience for the user from the moment it was unboxed. Jobs said that industrial design was the key to the strategy to turning Apple around. This was the first of many products that made his words become a reality. Apple have also been guilty of bad design. The original mouse for the iMac was called the Hockey Puck Mouse. It was round in shape. Ergonomically, it was confusing and disorientating for the user, but was improved later. A common misinterpretation of UX design is that it's just about the look of the design. That is user interface design, or UI, which deals with the aesthetics. UI is a subset of UX. UX handles aspects of branding, design, usability and functionality before a product is even in the user's hands. If we think of a website or product in the terms of a human body, the bones are the web code and the skeleton and structure. The organs are the part of the body that make it work or the functionality, this is the UX. And the layer of skin, clothes, accessories and makeup are the things that make it appear beautiful or aesthetic, this is UI. In my opinion, a great UX designer has to wear both hats of UX and UI. My name is Patrick Sweeney, postgrad UX design student, the LYAT. Thanks for listening.